health and diseases types of diseases are congenital and acquired disease causing agents are biological and chemical agents modes of transmission of diseases are direct and indirect health is a state of complete physical mental and social well-being and not merely an absence of disease or infirmity infirmity means weakness any physical or functional disturbance in the body is called disease or discomfort disease literally means body not at ease the scientific study of causes of disease is known as etiology a branch of medicine that deals with the scientific study of causes effects mechanism and nature of the disease is called pathology in greek pathos means suffering and logos means study classification or types of diseases study or classification of diseases is called nosology the diseases are mainly classified into two types congenital diseases inborn acquired diseases after birth acquired diseases are communicable that is infectious which are contagious and non contagious and non communicable which are non infectious congenital diseases inborn these are anatomical or physiological abnormalities present from birth congenital diseases are caused by genetic or environmental factors diseases caused by genetic factors chromosomal abnormalities chromosomal abnormalities can affect any chromosome including the sex chromosomes chromosomal abnormalities include having extra chromosomes addition or duplication missing chromosomes deletion or parts of a chromosome misplaced onto another some chromosomal abnormalities cause death of the embryo or fetus before birth for example down syndrome Klinefelter syndrome and Turner syndrome disease is caused due to gene mutations this type is caused by changes or mutations that occur in the dna sequence of one gene these are genetically inherited disorders for example huntington's chorea sickle cell anemia hemophilia and color blindness disease is caused due to inborn errors of metabolism Inborn errors of metabolism are inherited disorders in which the body cannot metabolize the components of foods like carbohydrates proteins and fats for example phenylketonuria pku tay sachs disease and galactosemia congenital diseases are caused by environmental factors also the environmental agents that can cause congenital abnormalities by acting on the developing embryo are called teratogenic agents these include use of certain drugs like thalidomide effect of radiations excessive smoking and alcohol intake by the pregnant woman these diseases are caused by damage inflicted to the fetus in the womb these diseases are not inheritable for example cleft palate hair lip etc acquired diseases that is the diseases which are developed after birth non inheritable they are caused due to infection deficiency of some nutrients in the diet addiction injury hypersensitivity degeneration malfunction of some body organs for example coronary heart disease hypertension alcoholism drug abuse lung cancer etc acquired diseases are of two types communicable infectious and non communicable non infectious diseases communicable that is infectious diseases these can be transmitted from an infected person to a healthy person these are caused by biological agents like viruses bacteria fungi protozoans flatworms and roundworms according to the type of the pathogen the communicable diseases are categorized as bacterial diseases for example diphtheria tetanus typhoid leprosy cholera tuberculosis viral diseases for example mumps measles polio smallpox chickenpox rabies aids influenza etc protozoan diseases example malaria amebiasis sleeping sickness kala azar etc helminth diseases for example tinnitus ascariasis filariasis liver rot trichinosis fungal diseases for example ringworm athlete's foot etc rickettsial diseases example typhus fever trench fever q fever rocky mountain spotted fever etc spirochetal diseases example syphilis
all communicable diseases are divided into two categories contagious diseases and non contagious diseases contagious diseases these are transmitted from infected person to a healthy person by close contact that is touch clothes sneezing etc for example scabies chickenpox smallpox measles and sexually transmitted diseases stds non contagious diseases non contagious diseases which can spread from an infected person to a healthy person through contaminated food air water etc example tinnitus ascariasis cholera tuberculosis typhoid etc or by the microorganisms injected inside the human body by some carriers or vectors example malaria filariasis plague etc non communicable diseases these cannot be transported from an infected person to a healthy person these diseases are called non infectious diseases because these are not caused by infection of pathogens these may be because of deficiency of certain nutrient or hormone or degeneration of certain body tissue or hypersensitivity to certain allergen or uncontrolled growth of some body tissue the non communicable diseases are of following types deficiency diseases dietary deficiency diseases and hormonal deficiency diseases degenerative diseases allergies cancer that is malignant diseases dietary deficiency diseases these are caused due to deficiency of some nutrients or some hormones due to malfunctioning of endocrine glands hormonal deficiency diseases aldosterone addison's disease insulin diabetes mellitus vasopressin diabetes insipidus parathormone tetany sth that is somatotrophic hormone or growth hormone dwarfism thyroxin cretinism in children myxoedema in adult and goiter degenerative diseases these are caused due to malfunctioning and degenerative changes in some vital organs for example cardiovascular diseases like heart attack arteriosclerosis etc brain diseases like stroke epilepsy etc allergic diseases these are caused due to hypersensitivity of the body to certain allergens like dust pollen spores for example hay fever asthma watering of eyes itching of throat due to pollen grains of certain grasses inflammation due to certain type of food cancerous or malignant diseases these are due to uncontrolled multiplication and growth of cells forming tumors which are neoplastic that is cancerous disease causing agents any substance which causes a disease by its excess deficiency or absence is called a disease causing agent these are of the following types biological agents the living organisms which cause diseases are called biological agents they are also called as pathogens these are the microorganisms which successfully infect the human body multiply and produce toxic substances which interfere with the normal functioning of the body these include bacteria viruses fungi protozoans rickettsia and helminths Here is a list of some bacteria causing the diseases Clostridium tetani tetanus Salmonella typhi typhoid Vibrio cholerae cholera Cornibacterium diphtheriae diphtheria Mycobacterium tuberculae tuberculosis Staphylococci acne Viruses which cause diseases are Varicella zoster virus causes chickenpox Variola virus causes smallpox Rubella virus causes measles protozoa the protozoa which cause diseases are plasmodium vivax malaria entamoeba histolytica amoebic dysentery trypanosoma sleeping sickness leishmania kala azar or leishmaniasis helminths and nematodes which cause diseases are ascaris ascariasis cystode diseases tinea causing tiniasis trematodes Fasciola causes liver rot. Schistosomes causes schistosomiasis. Vector host and the disease caused. Female Anopheles mosquito causes malaria. Tsetse fly causes sleeping sickness. Sand fly causes kala azar. Culex mosquito causes filariasis. Aids mosquito causes dengue and yellow fever. House flies cause cholera, typhoid and amoebic dysentery.
chemical agents these are the chemical compounds which can cause the disease due to the presence or deficiency or absence these are of two types endogenous compounds these are produced by the body itself example urea uric acids different types of crystals which can form kidney or gall bladder stones hormones etc exogenous compounds these enter the human body from outside by ingestion inhalation or inoculation these include pollutants like gases dust metals fumes dyes alkaloids steroids allergens like pollen etc modes of transmission of diseases the study of mode of transmission of diseases is called epidemiology communicable diseases are transmitted from an infected person or reservoir or source of infection to healthy but susceptible person in following ways direct transmission and indirect transmission direct transmission in this type the pathogens are transmitted from an infected person to a healthy person directly without an intermediate agent it occurs in the following manners by direct contact with an infected person the contagious diseases like chickenpox smallpox measles leprosy ringworms are transmitted by actual bodily contact between an infected person and a healthy person droplet infection the diseases like common cold cough tuberculosis diphtheria influenza mumps pneumonia etc can be transmitted through mucus secretions from sneezing coughing spitting or even talking of an infected person contact with soil the bacterial cyst or tetanus disease may enter the human body from the soil through injuries animal bites the rabies virus is injected into the human body by the bite of rabid animals like dogs monkeys cats etc transplacental transmission the virus of german measles aids and bacteria of syphilis can be transmitted from the maternal blood into the fetal blood through placenta indirect transmission in this case the pathogens are transmitted from a reservoir of infection to a healthy person through some intermediate agent vector transmission some vectors transmit the disease to a healthy person female mosquito anopheles can transmit plasmodium to cause malaria house fly can transmit causative agents of typhoid cholera amoebic dysentery conjunctivitis etc aids mosquito transmits dengue virus causing dengue disease and yellow fever culex mosquito transfers causative agent of elephantiasis vehicle transmission pathogens of diseases like typhoid dysentery cholera etc are transmitted by agencies like food water etc aids is spread through body fluid like blood semen of a suffering person airborne these pathogens can spread by wind currents example epidemic typhus fomite borne the pathogens are spread through contaminated articles like handkerchiefs towels crockery toys soap utensils and surgical instruments unclean hands the germs of diseases like ascariasis and enterobiasis are spread by unclean hands